632 and we are staying on top of breaking news. Uh, man is in custody right now after police say he shot a Detroit police officer late last night. Right now that officer is listed in critical condition. Now the whole incident unfolded outside of a home on McDougal near Grand Boulevard on the city's east side. Now in the larger picture, that's a live look at the scene right now. You can see that police are still there investigating. 7 Action News reporter Matthew Smith is live for us at Detroit Receiving Hospital. And Matt, you've been seeing police coming and going through the night. What are you learning about the officer? This was a young officer, just 25 years old, two years on the job, and it was in his blood. He has a father who is also a police officer and a nine month old at home. So right now, a lot of Detroit police officers waking up this morning saying, oh, no, here we go again. They find themselves in an all too familiar position, one of their own injured in the hospital. It just reminds us of the work that the officers do day in and day out and the sacrifices that they and their family make as we, as we have to uphold us, you know, as a team, as a, as the Detroit Police Department, as a city, but certainly the family of the injured officer this evening. Yeah, hard to really explain how DPD is feeling right now, how this officer's family is doing right now. You can see the type of response there was to this home on Detroit's east side. Dozens of officers rushing in, all trying to clamp this situation down. Now, they eventually would have to gas the shooter out of the home, but the 43-year-old was taken into custody without further issues. Right now, we want to show you what is going on with this investigation. These are live pictures from the scene on McDougal near Shane and Grand River where that officer was shot. But those who were part of this, those who work with the young man, what's happening right now is a hard reality, waiting and just hoping for the best. It's somber. We've had too many losses in our department. We've had too many injured officers. Uh, it's, it's hard. It's a hard job, and um, we're doing it for the community. Sometimes people lose, lose a, they lose that perspective. It is no secret. Lots of people are sending their prayers right now over to the Detroit Police Department right here at the hospital you see behind me. This is Detroit receiving. This is where that young officer is recovering right now. Again, in critical condition. As for the suspect, his name not being released. All we know, he's a 43 year old man. A wife and child were inside, but they got out. Coming up at 7 o'clock on TV 20, we're actually going to take you a little bit further into that scene. You're in here audio moments after those shots were fired at Detroit police officers. Really paints a chaotic picture, lets you know just how difficult this job Truly, yes. We're live this morning, Detroit. Matthew Smith, 7 Action News. Thank you, Matthew. Well, not much information has been released about the man in custody, but here's what police have shared with us so far. As Matt mentioned, the accused gunman is 43 years old. Police have said that he is married and has children. We've also learned that he has nine guns registered to his name. At one point, he had a concealed pistol license, but he lost his certification.